Let's turn now to zombies. Seriously, folks. I'm talking about the CDC, the agency, you know, that is supposed to protect public health and safety. Well, apparently they believe zombies are a threat to the public health and safety. <laughs> He's going to turn into a zombie and he's going to eat us. The gruesome face-eating attack in Miami could be part of a trend, an example of, of something larger and much more dangerous. Miami police say they've seen similar cases recently of people behaving strangely and showing what appears to be superhuman strength. What on earth is going on here? Is there something in the water? Do you think there is a zombie apocalypse upon us right now? I believe so. I believe this world is about to fall apart and... In about two weeks, everyone will be eating each other's faces. <laughs> I would hope not. I, I would think that's just not real. Anything's possible, but hopefully that wouldn't happen to us. I really think it is. Like, there's people, like, eating off people's faces and, like, you know, chopping up people's body parts and, like, saving them. Like, that's just crazy. Like, it's crazy. Like, that's not normal, so it has to be something. The CDC says if we're prepared for zombie apocalypse, we'll be prepared for any. Really? That makes sense. I mean, earthquakes, fires, the big, aside from the big one in California, I think zombies are pretty much the scariest thing you can possibly prepare for. I don't know who the CDC is, but if there's zombies out there, I feel like no one can protect you from a zombie. The CDC, like the National Guard, like it's no one that can help you, like, because they're probably turning into a zombie too, so. Well, I'd like to see their checklist, you know. And that way I can get myself prepared. The tongue-in-cheek instructional for a zombie apocalypse was created to spread the word about disaster preparedness and already has more than 3 million views. The idea was to leverage that popularity or that zombie trend to get our message out, to get our message and helping people prepare, helping families make kits, make plans, and be better prepared for all hazards. What do you think might be on the supply list uh, from the CDC for zombie apocalypse? Chapstick. They look, <laughs> they always look like their lips are really dry. Antibiotics, some antiseptics, uh, breathing mask, batteries, uh, flashlights, survival skills, band aids. All the Angelinos have gaffer tape, and gaffer tape can be used as a medical bandage. A knife, a gun, some bullets. Food. I think that's the most important thing. As long as we have food and water, oh, a lot of beer, Guinness, a can of whoop ass, and motorcycles. Definitely got to get away quick. <laughs> Once you've made your emergency kit, you should sit down with your family and come up with an emergency plan. This includes where you should go and who you would call if zombies started appearing outside your doorstep. This is a direct quote from the CDC here. It says, and I'm quoting, the CDC does not know of a virus or condition that would reanimate the dead or one that would present zombie-like symptoms, but they did issue a statement, which makes one wonder. So I guess we all can breathe a sigh of relief. There is no zombie apocalypse. At least not today. Personally, whether there is or isn't something going on, I'm going to get prepared. <laughs> because remember, if one prepares for a zombie apocalypse, one will be prepared for anything. Come here, bitch, fella. She's gonna take a little off the top. Signing off from the land of the living, I'm Shelly Ladd. Rain.